cleartechinfo.com offers free help and advice for all of your computer, internet, and technology questions. Just register for a free membership, and after you receive your welcome email, you may log in and post your question on our help forums. Remember, the only stupid question is a question you don't ask. A lot of you out there have simplistic, easy to figure out passwords that anybody with average intelligence, if they really put their mind to it, they could figure it out and log into your email accounts, your Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or even your online banking account. I'll show you how to create secure passwords that are easy for you to memorize, but hard for others to figure out. And by the way, this is coming from somebody who has a bad memory. This is something I wrote up real quick. Choose passwords based on subjects or favorites already strongly embedded within your memory. Do not select a word in the dictionary. Here is a short list that I wrote up. It could be your favorite actor, sports star, movie, book, website, animal, friend, relative, teacher, food, rock band, CD you used to live in, not your current one, but a CD you used to live in, a vacation spot or one that you have been dreaming of. And this is only a short list. It could be anything embedded into your memory. It could even be this restaurant around the corner from where you live that has a huge sign of the name. And it's a unique name. So you always pass it when you go to and come back from work. So it's always in your head. You can have that as your password. Mix it in with numbers. Do not choose your current phone number, your address, or your social security number. Select an old phone number that you, that you used to have that's not in service anymore. A significant others or family member social security number. Usually when somebody chooses a social security number as a password, they choose the last four digits. You could choose the first four to five digits. A family members or friends address or cell phone number. A number of your favorite athlete. Using these rules and this method, I could select one of my favorites like I really love seeing Bruce Lee movies. I still love seeing his movies since he was a kid, so I'll select him. But I won't put Bruce Lee down the name. I'll put the name that he was born as, Lee Jun Fan. So I'll put Jun Fan down. As a kid, I used to love seeing Wayne Gretzky play hockey. His number is 99. And currently, I am a Kobe Bryant fan, so his number is 24. If you compare that to something like Password one two three four five or monkey one two three. A few months ago, a hacker hacked into a ton of Facebook accounts. The number one password people used was either password or password with a variation of one two three four five or one two three or three two one. It was very very easy to get into those accounts. Also, something that was very popular on Facebook was monkey or monkey123 or, or monkey with some sort of number behind it, like monkey12345. So if you see this password compared to these two, it's a lot secure. Now we'll go into something a little more advanced, but it's still easy for you to memorize. And actually, this method is a lot harder for other people to figure out. Better and more secure. Do not add any of your favorites, but add a significant other's family member or friends, favorites, whatever, something maybe they always talk about or something close to them, add a significant other family members or friends n number significance, their cell phone number, their address, anything that's associated with them. Add at least one capital to the password. This changes up things a lot. Add at least one special character to the password if allowed. These are the characters on top of the keyboard from the number one through zero. Replace letters with numbers. Here's a quick little list I made. You can replace A with 4, I with 1, T with 7, S with 5, E with 3, and O with 0. And using that method, I'll create a password based on things I know other people like or love. Um, like a favorite movie star of one of my relatives is Steven Seagal. She just loves seeing him in any type of action movie. So for the password, I could type in Seagal. And what I'll do is replace the E with 3 and the A with 4. I will capitalize the very last letter 
And as far as the numbers go, my best friend's old address that he used to live at a while back is 6810 Apartment J. So the password that I can memorize is Seagal with S34GA capital L 6810J. So if you compare those four passwords, these two are a lot stronger than these two passwords and this is by far the strongest password on this list I'm not saying it's unhackable but it would be very very hard to hack compared to these passwords here that's how to create secure passwords that are easy for you to memorize but hard for others to guess for more tutorials, tips, tricks, and advice on computers, internet, and technology, go to cleartechinfo.com.